He's kept losing the trade. All, All right. right, Boxer versus Website. I wonder I wonder if this is the Boxer from Washington, because I know Boxer's pretty good. Mm. Boxer's pretty good. I believe uh, this is going to be a tough one. Either a Fox player or a Puff player. Oh, you called it. If it's if it's Puff Dittos, that'd be pretty sad. OK, yeah, uh -oh. it is. It is going to be Puff Dittos. Yeah, so we got Kyle. Obviously, everyone knows Kyle. Everyone loves Kyle. Kelly Wipes. Oh, yeah, I've seen him. Web I've wipe. seen him. Big old Wet Wipes. He has buttons of himself as a puff. Like, this man has his own merchandise and logo. We are now sponsored by Hungerbox <laughs> with a double Jigglypuff. So yeah, this matchup, kind of weird, right? Like, you know, it's not everybody's favorite, I'm going to be honest. I'll, I'll just bring the elephant into the room and make it for just right oh, there yeah. in the center. But, but obviously, there's some weird, weird mechanics that come out in this matchup. I can't imagine watching this set ever, because how do they combo each other? They're so light. Exactly Can right. Can rest? Yeah, like, Pretty much, I would say this matchup's a little weird because it's gonna be a lot of shielding. Because obviously, Puff, a lot of a lot of her, yeah, a lot of her neutrals is <laughs> gonna be aerials and back airs, right? Even F smashes sometimes. Oh yeah. And so, what happens a lot is that since shield is such a strong option and it it gets brought out a lot, what happens is a tomahawk grabs will come come up, but like there's not a lot of reward from tomahawks. A lot of the time, it's just like you up throw them and you get center stage, and then right. you kind of use that as a sharking situation. Of course, yeah. But it, it's, as you said, it's like, how do they combo each other? I'm not really sure. I think they do like maybe pound, but even then, I feel like they go too far. Yeah, not too not too much. Pretty much the only thing they can get is like off of a drill. Yeah, that makes sense. Because if you can L cancel the drill properly on like certain floatier characters, well, pretty much every character, but it depends on the percent. Usually it works better at lower percent if what you're trying to go for like a grab. Man, that forward, or, that forward throw almost killed. <laughs> like, <laughs> he went yeah. all the way across oh, the yeah. stage. I think the up, up throw might kill soon. What the heck? That back air just cut off the top? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> What is this game, dude? They're just doing nothing for back airs. It's back and forth, back and forth. Can I get the neutral spacing? Edge control, good for Boxer. Oh, get some of the top. Back air. Yeah, it, it really is just going to be spacing wars on the back air and who can play a little bit more uh, patiently. Mm. Maybe patient isn't the word I'm looking for, but you got to be disciplined. That's, yeah. that's you, you, can't, you can't fall for like easy, easy just bears. You got to make sure that every bear your opponent throws out is something that they work for very, exactly, exactly. very hard. But in this matchup, they both have to, start, they both have to get so close. Did that pound just kill? Is that what I witnessed? It just killed from the like almost below the stage. <laughs> no. Damn. I, I don't know what's going on. Anyways, out of out of like the out of like the alt skins, what do you think is your favorite? Out of these oh. two, we'll go by these two. I'd have to say definitely the headband. Definitely the headband. I mean, it's the hunger box skin. It looks I don't want to say it's the best, but I mean, what other skin is gonna be as sick with headband physics? Like, yeah, I I was actually about to say it's that. It's so ever. sick. <laughs> yeah, having its own physics is pretty cool. And it kind of it kind of adds character to every like every bear you throw in. You have certain drifts. Oh, what, yeah. if, what if peop, what if 20xx people start <laughs> start reacting to the, the physics of the headband to oh, guess no. what drip they're using? <laughs> that's that's too far ahead. That's way too far ahead. Yeah. Once humans get like frame one reactions mm. and just react to the headband physics. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just gonna be like just headband meta. Everyone's playing Jigglypuff. Yes. The same skin. They like, RPS not for the stage pick, but for the headband pick. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> are you gonna play the headband or am I? Exactly. exactly. Or they ge they gentlemen to nobody pl picks the headband. It's like chain grabs. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like nobody's gonna pick the headband here. Wow. Oh. He just jabbed them out of his own drill. Yeah. See, they they keep trying to go for these uh mm. the only thing that will pretty much combo, which is Ooh. drill into something. Stage spike, but he does have a couple of jumps. It's over. Actually, he, wait. he could pound. Yeah. Not he could pound stall there. It. Yeah, and when with with uh. Edge guarding Puff. Usually, you don't want to hit her with any moves such as like Puff's own back air because if they DI properly, it gives them. Obviously, it's going to hit them farther away from stage. Right. But the, the most valuable resource for Puffs when they're recovering is how much height they have. Exactly. Because pound, pound basically makes it so that they can go from left to right pretty much freely. It's all about if they're below the stage or not, which is kind of a, the biggest deal. Of course, yeah. So when it comes to landing a rest. I don't. I don't know how. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Okay. I see. I see. But yeah, I, the only thing I can think of is like maybe up tilt at like zero percent. Yeah. But it's like 
That's not gonna really happen. <laughs> we haven't seen a single rest yet. All we've seen is maybe back air up the side, pound to kill, and then a back air up the top. <laughs> These kill options are just getting wackier and wackier as we go on. Yeah, seriously, this is kind of... They have to get really creative with their kill options. Yeah, this is... I feel like I'm watching JoJo's Part 1 <laughs> yes. compared to all the other arcs. <laughs> it's like kind of a little bland, a little boring. Where are the stands at? Picks up sometimes, but then it's over. <laughs> all right. Ugh, Vox is trying to recover, right. but that backer is definitely going to seal it. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. And just a reminder, this is best of three, so... Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah, it's going to be best of three until... I'm going to guess top... Eight or it's probably top eight best of five or most likely top like 16 is best of five. actually it's probably top 16 best of five because I think that's the number where people uh, make it out of pools right okay so okay. that probably makes the most sense I, I, I'd assume I'd assume I yeah. mean top eight should usually be best of the five because yeah. just for the fact that that's where from the, the pinnacle yeah the pinnacle of players. Yeah, is. when you say like you got 13th, like nobody cares. But like if you say like you got 17th, or sorry, like yeah, you got 7th, yeah. or like 5th, you're like, oh, top 8, yeah. Yeah, nice. okay, let's go. Let's okay. go. You were on screen. You were on screen. Yeah. You're on screen. Clout gain. I think Dragon Ball and Ultimate, and no, I think Dragon Ball and Melee are only going to be top 4 for screen. For the big stream, maybe, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think. I think I remember reading on the Discord, I think. Anyways, also, make sure to check out all the other streams, guys. Definitely. Porn. We got uh, Canadian Joysticks for the FGC. And, Mem no, 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 which one is the other one? Mountains. Mount Mountainside Mount Games? Mountainside. Mountainside Games, yeah. Mountainside Mountain Games. Mountainside Games, all yeah. right. And then also, we have the other stream. I think Vancouver Street Battle might be doing one as well. And I also think the Gaming Stadium mm. is doing. So this is the first event with the Gaming Stadium. So that's pretty hype. I just want to if you're here to watch Melee and Dragon Ball, tune into Mountainside Games and the uh, Canadian Joystick for sure. Gotcha, yeah. And then for top four, definitely, it would be on the Gaming Stadium, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We have backers and forward tilts. Ooh, good dash tech to get him on the ledge. Just fighting for that stage control. Honestly, like, looking at this matchup, I feel like Puff is just like a dodgeball, but with like a baguette, <laughs> like, yeah. just taped to it. It's exactly. just like three baguettes. I feel like, a, I wouldn't say a baguette, more like a, like a pool noodle. Uh, <laughs> like, you're just whipping it around. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a a baguette that can shorten itself and elongate, elongate whenever <laughs> it needs to. But that's like, it's like it's some Inspector Gadget. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my oh god. My. Oh yeah, the drills are coming out. None of them have really gotten any uh, They're both drills. At it. Yeah, drill into like actual true combos, like no. an up smash. Somehow, we've hit like five or more drills. Yeah, for it's, sure. it's what's really weird is that it's actually deceptively really hard. Like really, really hard to is L cancel it, the just, drill. Oh, I guess because the hit stun increases it? Yeah, and yeah. also it has so many different hits. Like it's actually very, very hard. Isn't it like what do you prefer five, six, or seven? It's something insane. Yeah. Honestly, I would say, in my opinion, it feels like shining out a shield is yeah. probably easier than trying to L cancel Most the drill. Likely. It's just such a weird timing. And I think the biggest deal is that it's uh it's a variable timing. Ah, I it's see. so it's so Well, because depending on the height and yeah. the height of the character you're hitting. And if you're fast falling at the exactly, right time or not. Yeah. So depending on all those variables, you might get one more tick of the drill than you might think. And that just might mess you up all altogether. Jigglypuff sounding complicated, but all we're seeing is back air the neutral airs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh Ooh. I, ah. I want to see one rest. I'm, I'm waiting to hear that sound of the pwee. Yeah. Right now, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> it's like I'm, well, I don't know. It's like I'm watching the Flying Dutchman <laughs> versus like the Dirty Bubble right now. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a matchup and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's 80-20. Uh oh. Okay. He's on the ledge. Ooh, yeah. He's trying to hit the back air, but he can't land it. And s since he was so high up, just had basically a free recovery back on the stage with the pounds, pound stalling there. Ooh, gets a forward smash, but shoots it just the last second. Ooh, there we go. And that's smash. one of the first, I believe, one of the first uh, drills into a true combo up smash there. Right, right. Yeah, that's pretty much the only kill confirm. Took him long enough. Took him long enough. But we got it. We got yeah. those here. Vox are looking a little scared. He's been slightly behind this entire set, but never too far. Yeah, and something something that's been happening decently is like, of course, like obviously having I think the puff, the opponent puff above you is always great. But the thing is, like in most scenarios, 
uh, when you have a character above you, they just kind of fall on you and you can kind of react to their drift. Yeah. But Puff's drift is so good in the air. Also, so he can do like a million different things and delay his drift if he wants to with Pound. Yeah, There's yeah. so many different aerial options and there's a big sports match. Yeah, so it's, you know, something that's traditionally pretty good is like not that big of a deal in this matchup. So it really does seem like the game just kind of revolves around both of them getting onto the ground and then kind of zoning out these back these uh, aerials with like their full hops or short hops. Exactly. And pretty much it's what time are they jumping at? What jump do they use? The backer timing and like their drift and like a lot of those kind of yeah. factors are what's the are the nuances that kind of come in Ooh. during the neutral. Risky up smash. Oh Bouncer my god! He's on his last dock here. Yeah, he tried to do some crazy gim. This might be it. Depending on... Oh, no, he goes high. Yeah. He has no jumps left. Oh, I was God. thinking maybe he could rest him if he, yeah. like, went for something crazy. Because Pound, since it has uh, such a long animation, it doesn't grab until, like, the very, very end. Right, but right. But goes for the drill off smash. A clean game. There we go. Ooh. 